channel. Today I am in pajamas because it's nice and cozy and this is like a winter holiday, winter, mostly winter. It's like cold, I don't know. Also, PJs are everything. I feel like lately I've been filming in nothing but sweaters and pajamas. I don't know. I'm not even sure what to name this video. I was thinking like holidays, but I also want to do like a whole like Christmas DIY slash hacks. So I don't know if to not put holidays in this title because there's not really any holiday hacks, mostly for cold, but winters in January, I don't even know. I, winter hacks, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button. Comment down below what you're most excited about these holidays. And also remember that in a few weeks, I am going to be in Texas. I'm going to be in Dallas and Houston for my tour. If you're in the Dallas or Houston area, come through. It's for a good cause. I will not be making any of the proceeds. All my proceeds will be donated. Comment down below if I'm going to be meeting you. I'm so excited. I will have a ticket link down below. Fullscreenlive.com. Come through, you guys. Holiday shopping has officially started, so make sure to get your goodies. I will make sure to link my books and slime kit down below. And you can also get them in stores. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on to this video. If you ever want to make s'mores with your friends for a cheap cost, you can actually buy gel burners at most stores and they're only like two bucks, you guys, they're super cheap. I know about these because my brother's a wedding coordinator and these are often used with warming food. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know about them too, they're nothing crazy, they're nothing new, but they're super inexpensive and you won't waste gas like you would on a stove. They're super small, they're portable, they're cheap, and they're really easy to set up. One of these is all you need for all of your friends. Next up is a method to take lint off of your sweaters. Okay, I feel like we all know about this razor trick, and yes, it does work, but honestly, it takes forever. A much faster method is using an exfoliating rock. This works so much better and faster than a razor. I only did a few swipes with little effort, and it works way better than the razor. Up. Add grip to your fuzzy socks with a glue gun. There's literally endless uses for hot glue. I love it so much. I love my fuzzy socks, okay? But I legit slipped one time going downstairs and I almost dislocated my hip. <laughs> fuzzy socks with a grip is the way to go. Honestly though, anything to do with grip and DIY, hot glue gun. I love cold weather so much. It's my favorite time of the year. But with cold weather comes not only chapped lips, but dry cuticles. Use a chapstick to moisturize your cuticles. You likely carry one around anyway if you use chapstick daily. Your nails will benefit from it and not be so brittle and dry. Your cuticles actually have a lot to do with the state of your nails. So if you have dry, brittle nails, try moisturizing your cuticles more often. Healthy cuticle equals healthy nails. Here's something I used to do all the time when I was in school. I slept with my clothes either under me or under the pillow and I woke up and it was warm and I didn't really mind getting up. I feel like the waking up part for going to school is not even that bad but it's so freaking cold sometimes in the winter that getting up you just don't want to get out of bed it's just too cold. So if you guys put your clothes under your pillow you will wake up it will be warm and you are ready to go. Okay, so I've seen the waterproof trick go around for some time, but I thought it was more complicated. I didn't know you could literally use any wax for this. It doesn't even have to be beeswax. I got these cheap candles and they worked great. All you do is rub hard wax all over the fabric of the shoe. Like if you were using an eraser basically, cover all the fabric up with this. Once that's done, you're not done yet. You'll next need a hair dryer on the hot setting. This is gonna seal all the wax in. Then that's it. I tried the water test myself and it works amazing. I'm gonna do this to all of my shoes this winter.
Here's a cute way to serve whipped cream on your hot chocolate. All you need is a cookie cutter. Mine is the shape of a heart because I thought it would look so cute. I'm gonna fill it up with whipped cream, press down with a spoon for more density, even it out, clean it up nice and clean, and in the freezer it goes for about an hour. Once it was done, I took mine out and I kind of smoothed it out with a spoon a little bit to be extra perfect and then I popped it into my mug and that's it. It kind of looks like ice cream, right? But it's literally whipped cream. I actually tasted it. It kind of tastes like ice cream. I was thinking like you could legit make ice cream with whipped cream. I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing already, but this was so good. I'm sure you can get such a cute Instagram picture with this. Last but definitely not least, this is literally my favorite one. It's so good. If you have an empty Nutella bottle or bottle, is it? Call it a bottle. I'm sure it's not called. A container. And you have like the edges that still have Nutella. You just put milk in it, pop it in the microwave, and it makes hot chocolate. The best hot chocolate I've ever tasted. This is so good. Like you guys don't understand. Go check your pantry. If you have an empty Nutella container, put it in the microwave right now with some milk. It is so good. This hot chocolate, you guys, <laughs> you don't understand. If you love Nutella, you will love this. Or Nutella. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong. I call it Nutella. Amazing. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment down below what your favorite hack is. Also, don't forget I'm coming to Dallas and Houston. Ticket link down below. I'm so excited to meet you guys. It's going to be extra special. I love y'all and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.